Okay, we're having some uh, some problems uh, with the connection, but we're back live streaming uh, Occupy Honolulu. Uh, police have uh, an eviction attempt, basically. Um, this is where it was. You can see uh, basically the the tent, the main tent, still standing, but Occupy Honolulu hasn't gone away, as you can see. We're live streaming to the world. Occupy. <laughs> You can see that the um, law of the splintered paddle that was declared by King Kamehameha must still be honored. It has withstood legal challenge so that the tents have been moved right here along the side of the road. When did it not become public information? So that uh, we can see Occupy Honolulu is now occupying a long line by the side of the road in compliance with the law of the splintered paddle that has been incorporated into um, the state constitution. Um, not everyone, in fact only a small portion of people at Occupy were actually residents. and One of them was uh, arrested and uh, this is the extent of Occupy at the moment. Very ironically, right across the street, the Honolulu Academy of Arts, which was once the private residence of uh, Anna Rice Cook, I believe, is now a private uh, art academy, I'm, I'm sorry, art museum, but there's a certain irony in that because that acquisition of wealth uh, came the same way as the one that crashed uh, the world system that resulted in a lot of uh, homelessness. I'm checking a tent here. Uh, not part of Occupy Honolulu, a homeless woman uh, was persuaded to leave and she left her house here, of course, which seems uh, is subject to eviction, to seizure. Uh, I'm going to turn around here and we're going to... That's the uh, old mansion that's now Hawaii uh, Honolulu Art Academy and we'll head back if you're just catching up uh, both uniformed and aloha shirted public uh, affairs officers police and uniformed police bicycle police uh, showed up earlier today the State authorities uh, redrew the boundaries of the park in order to evict people from uh, evict people from the the park. It's a bending of rules. <laughs> Stephanie Keenan. Stephanie Keenan. She goes by I Kuan Yin on uh, Twitter, no. Facebook. I don't and know Instagram. if we want to print that though. Yeah. I don't we'll, know. We'll, we'll see your name when they when they post yeah. it. Okay. I see. Okay. I should. I'll just let you. <laughs> there are uh, access alleys. So you yes. can see Which one? This one? Occupy Honolulu has moved out 
on the uh, sidewalk directly by the road in strict compliance to the law of the splintered paddle uh, first law formal law of the Hawaiian nation declared by King Kamehameha any uh, impressions anything you want to say this is the kaikahasi of the Hawaii independent so Doug why do you think they waited until today to designate the boundaries? And I think it took them that long to think about it. Those who are mutual in the face of oppression have chosen the side of the oppressor. What are you talking about? Don't put it back. <laughs> Siren. Sorry to use it and then give it to you. <laughs> yeah, it's a little loud for this time of night. Okay? <laughs> Sorry, I left that interview. I had to go ahead and check the mic check. So, so why do you think it took that long? Huh? I think because the attention has shifted. Ah. Uh. Although, I've got 20, 20 guys viewing live right now, all over the world. So, so I have to um, tell people every now and then what they're looking at. This is uh, Occupy Honolulu. Still here, being moved. Uh, the police came earlier and uh, are still here. How many viewers do you have? I got now. I have uh, 22 viewers. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, sure. And it also gets recorded, so like people can play it back later and oh, make it available for wonderful. editing. Yeah. But it's on the internet. 22 viewers. Yeah. Live huh? view. Uh, live view. Live yeah. View. You stream. You stream live. Yeah. From your blog to your blog, or do you do uh, that? no, I did, it's not embedded, so um, you'd have to like get the tweet and then tune in, or like go to the Ustream. So. Yeah, I have uh, some good people uh, retweeting the the channel, so people can see what we're looking at here is the main uh, tent area, which is. Um, like the living space? About the, the main living space, meeting space, uh, library uh, being torn down. Um, the deal is that the uh, police said if you don't remove the stuff, it's subject to seizure. Um, and anyone that was inside was subject to arrest. We have already suffered uh, one arrest. The police station is about half a block away, so I, I assume we'll all be heading down or heading down in a group. The uh, problem was that uh, a little meta, meta moment for both of us. Like, let's. I'm going to read this on 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 the air. Okay. Here. At 808 Lika mentioned, at Ikaika Hussey being interviewed by eight by um, at H Doug, <laughs> at eviction of Occupy Home was HPD blah blah blah. So how's that for like good. a meta? That's amazing. And then oh, it yeah. just kind of <laughs> re recursive <laughs> exactly media recursive infinite loop. I think I just got sucked into your phone. Or something. Ma massive uh, self documentation, <laughs> which is what which is what the internet is all about. You can probably see this in many perspectives at the same time and that helps people get an idea of what is going on. Um, uh, we can see the uh, political tent is still here. Oh, I was, I was saying that uh, the problem was is that Occupy Honolulu was built not in the park but what appeared to be in the large expanse of sidewalk as you can see here. Uh, except earlier this afternoon, state authorities came and redrew 
um, where the park was by setting down little dots. This has got to be subject to legal challenge because uh, you can't just draw boundaries to suit yourself. And uh, of course you can see that the encampment then fell within uh, fell within the um, park which made it illegal illegal camping so I think that's what the bus is. Um, so people are going to leave as we are now on the sidewalk which is perfectly legal and at 5 a.m. we can get back inside the park and if you think that sounds funny hey we've done it before you know uh, during APEC week during APEC protest week um, we actually picked up one uh, structure and walked it from midnight to 5 a.m. around Kapiolani Park. Um, that was a action uh, of many people. We had 18 uh, volunteers from Moana Nui, Occupy Honolulu, and uh, various other groups from the University of Hawaii. Great experience. So I'm going to see what we have here. We have uh, dogs here at uh, Occupy Honolulu. This is one of the killer uh, pit bulls. Nah, I'm I'm joking about that. The uh, political kiosk is still up. De Occupy Honolulu. representing the very large aggrieved constituency of Occupy movement, 99% of the people. Still asking for pocket change for social change. And, uh, occupier. We have uh, up on this tower Above, right above Occupy, I don't know if you can see it, is a surveillance camera. And uh, it ain't looking at traffic, which would be in this direction, upward. It's uh, actually looking at the Occupy encampment, so, you know. Here's the official dog. Here's the, now the official dog of Occupy Honolulu. <laughs> and you are streaming live across the entire world. Are you using uh, your own live stream or are you on the Occupy? Uh, I'm using my own on oh. a Ustream. I got 20 viewers at the moment. Sweet. So it's pretty good. We're walking down here in the in the dark, you can't really see too well. We have uh, bicycle police. One, two, three, four. Um, yeah, easy gig for them. Here is uh, the library. Move from inside the tent to uh, the sidewalk. Here is some of the information about how to get a hold of us. You know, I, I realize I've been, uh, here's a, here's a chalk, uh, chalk to notice which says uh, regulate the bank. Pretty good idea. But of course that is difficult so you might as well regulate campers and regulate the homeless who don't even have a organized encampment For here, uh, meditation booth looks like. 
trying to get the uh, vibe mellow. All the people uh, inside of the sidewalk line are police or state workers. Some Occupy members are inside breaking down the encampment, not breaking it down, but actually disassembling it so it can be assembled uh, along the sidewalk. I think what I'll do is at the next crosswalk, I'm going to get a view across the street from the uh, Academy of Arts and uh, shoot what it looks like uh, looking this way. Uh, we're on the corner of Ward and Baratania. You can look that up uh, if you're not familiar with Honolulu. It's uh, in District 6 of Honolulu under Councilman uh, Tulsi Gabbard. Very large, very densely populated uh, section of uh, Honolulu, one of the biggest. Okay, the main tent was brought down. Not too sure what's going on. I'm going to cross over the street here. So I'm crossing uh, Baratania Street, and what I'm going to do is try and get an idea here of uh, the area. That was the main tent going down. Not too sure why it was broken down rather than not disassembled. Uh, there was some, uh, must have been some unity over that. So if you're walking down Ward, across Baratania, you'd see the uh, Occupy Honolulu encampment in a very busy section of uh, Honolulu. So it got a lot of visibility, a lot of honks, you know, as people went by to support uh, the cause. And, and uh, pretty uh, encouraging. You'll see... Uh, the encampment moved now directly to the side of the road and we'll walk down and see it the, behind those trucks are the tents so it hasn't been torn down it's been moved uh, directly to the sidewalk under the protection of the law of the splintered paddle which was uh, the first law declared by the uh, first king of uh, the Hawaiian nation, King Kamehameha, who made the first law which said that people should be able to lie undisturbed by the side of the road. In other words, make no law that harms innocent people. That would be the first requirement of any lawmaking. So because of that, we have this very long encampment that'll look great in the morning traffic. There'll be some signs out in the morning. I'm going to walk down a ways so you get an idea if you were following along before. The encampment now runs uh, maybe a third of the block. I'm looking at parked cars and at um, police cars. Of course, there's a very large number of police. And um, now we are directly in front of the Honolulu Academy of Arts, um, which was at one time, this whole thing from that end 
which is at one time a private residence and is now a private uh, art museum. Actually a, a really good one because they have a great educational component. A lot of kids, you know, have taken art lessons here. Now let's uh, walk up. Uh, you can see a little bit about that. And this is directly across from uh, Occupy Honolulu, the uh, Honolulu Academy of Arts, which was once a uh, private residence. A uh, really opulent mansion at one time, and now right across the street is the tents of Occupy Honolulu. And the acquisition of wealth, the method, hasn't changed much, but it's changed in magnitude. Oh, you can see a better look at the uh, encampment now, occupying the area right on the sidewalk. We'll head back there. It looks like there's a little meeting going on or something. If you stay with us, I'm going to keep this going for as long as I have power. I've got a uh, Mophie uh, juice pack connected to a Mophie power station. So I've got, uh, you know, more than 5,000 uh, milliamp hours. Or at least that's what I started off with. And I'm going to keep this going as long as I can. I think later on we're all going to head down to the police station and... Uh, bail out uh, Stacy our only arrest tonight they now have backed up the uh, trucks trucks are going to uh, pick up the personal property and uh, throw it away this is odd they just passed, the Honolulu City County just passed an ordinance, Bill uh, 54, which allowed the seizure of attended personal property, but it required a 24-hour warning. This is being done under another statutory provision of some kind, but we can't get any idea of uh, what the statute or law is that they're doing it under, and if they had such a statute, why they needed Bill 54 to begin with, which was a very controversial uh, measure. Why is it worse than being neutral in the face of oppression? We're blatantly perpetuating oppression. So, you know, I'm going to try and get a better angle at this. They're starting to cart away the. Uh, panels that were the flooring and whatnot. Oh, not much better there. You can see um, the traffic has died down. It's now uh, about midnight, a little after midnight here in Honolulu at Occupy Honolulu. We are minus 10 GMT. This is the uh, Ward Avenue, and usually very heavy traffic, but it, at this hour it's starting to peter out. I'm sure you can hear the traffic. Uh, one good reason for situation, sh situating Occupy Honolulu here was because of the uh, traffic. Uh, going to work, coming home from work, traffic is quite good. If I had a telephoto, I could like zoom in and see what's on that screen, but like, I can't. There's some uh, tempers heating up here. People have uh, put a lot into this 
occupation. Uh, I'm going to go up there and see if we can get some of the dialogue. That would be uh, Megan uh, Brooker speaking. I'm going to turn the mic around. being uh, questioned on the irony of their enforcing uh, homeless eradication efforts. Bill 54 requires 24-hour rain notice. Let's just stand up for the homeless people who through no fault of their own are in good state and tax who will stand up for the homeless people? That is a very good question. If it's not the police, who? Who are they going to sleep? And who are the police protecting at this point? Did you know how much trash we make on this island? And you guys are supporting that? By throwing away more stuff? You can't evict an idea. If you think we're going to disappear, you're fucking wrong. So enjoy the fucking overtime because we're not going anywhere. Just the hey guys, just remember when the federal troops come in, they're on our side because we're on your side, all right? <laughs> we're just a little pissed right now out there, just a little pissed, that's all. Because they will come, I guarantee you that. The uh, de-occupy on a little sign being. If you don't revolution, you're more likely to have the military on your side than the fucking rock. What are you doing? They're not the uh, I can, um, I'll go like, they won't turn their phone off to their own people. Well, that's hard. I've got, like, 21 viewers. You don't want to ask me other people. Yeah, it's a power cut. Hey, what job has provided to the home? Affordable housing. Happy meal! Happy meal! Happy meal! Happy meal! Requires some of my, uh, coordination. Coordination. There's not healthy unless you have a high-paid job. Someone who make middle wages cannot even afford a house suitable for a family. The the uh, aggrieved the aggrieved uh, constituency is broad and diverse. Yeah, you know, because it's ninety nine percent non singular. It's non yeah. It, it, the the ninety nine percent encompasses people that would n normally not even say hello to each other. So this is actually brought together a lot of people, I think. I think not. I think the people that have high paying jobs and have these corporations it does. will fall and not many start to death. There are not many people like like me. There are not many Asian people and I wondered about that and it's good to bring it up on the air. I think I'm the only Hawaiian person. And there are not many Hawaiian people. And this is the way I think about that is that what do Asians like us, and, and by Asians, if you're not living in Honolulu, if you're not from Honolulu, we're probably Japanese, Chinese, Korean, Filipino would be how much of the population? 30 something percent of the population? A no, very more, more. 40 percent? 50. 50%? I mean, if, if you were to take all the all the Asians, Asian yeah, we're maybe 50 percent of the population. Um, the a sub in that substantial well. portion. The Filipinos is probably six or seventy. Sixty or seventy. I wouldn't guess that much. 
But Filipinos are not 30% of the but population. But that, that's the estimate of uh, Ikai Kahasi of the uh, Hawaii Independent. So we'll go with that. At any rate, a real substantial portion of the population, why aren't they represented here? But where are they represented? They don't go out on to demonstration. They don't demonstrate. They don't protest. I know speaking from my, my own people, Japanese people, a lot of the privilege and income that we make is from being a little bit too compliant, obedient, and silent. As I was, I've always been a little bit disappointed that there weren't more Asians, or at least more Japanese, like me. Hawaiians uh, come out for sovereignty stuff because of a compelling, uh, for compelling reasons. Are you going to do this to homeless people? Are you practicing? Is this a good test run for you guys? Are you going to feel good about that? No. No one has to care about anything if they get paid for it. Well, you're doing your job. So what would you get Japanese out We're not camping, the sign says. sign says, we're not camping and it's printed on the Bill of Rights, starting with the First Amendment, the guarantee of freedom of speech. Of course, the Fourth Amendment is the guarantee of against uh, unreasonable search and seizure. <laughs> there are multiple constitutional uh, issues here. And of course, the police should be protecting people and not harassing. You know, I think the fact that the sovereignty movement has not united with the Occupy movement is a real travesty. Well, you know, it did for a moment. I was, I was talking earlier about uh, APEC week. Yeah. And Laulani's uh, uh, Kanawai Mamalahoi encampment in Waikiki. And that last day, the actually every day Occupy Honolulu came out. I know. To I know. protect against the uh, police. I know, but there hasn't been the same response. And that last day, there were 18 uh, volunteers, Occupy Honolulu and uh, Moana Nui, yeah. who uh, picked up the structure and walked it around Kapiolani Park from midnight to 5 a.m. And that was great unity, and that was a group of people that normally wouldn't have even known of each other's existence, maybe. Um, and uh, Laulani's been here. She's helped a lot, given a lot of uh, Hawaiian history education, so people can understand that they actually are part of the same aggrieved population. I'm going to be really good at your job. You're going to be able to do it ten times more efficiently. You guys might as well not spend money on Christmas lights. But I do understand a lot of Hawaiians were upset, you know, because the whole Occupy thing for one. Yeah. And the other was that it was seemingly very haole, very Caucasian, very white. And two schools. They can close schools and hospitals. There is something wrong with the people that make billions of dollars each year just on tourism. You can't pay for shelter. For their You re recap that? What was that? I have four warrants. <laughs> oh, for our traffic issues and shit. Should not be shopping mindlessly. Reporting mindlessly. Most of humanity is mental. I'm sorry for all those traffic warrants. I was just trying to get the fucking work. My bad. 
Sure. We'll take you in now. You want to go down? Point, um, people, there you go. Um, more to the yeah. off whatever park you want. Uh, they then said that tents were not allowed in the park. I should give you an opportunity to take an air on your own. Do you want to go in tonight? I don't care. I'll see you. That's why I give you that. You don't have to yell at you. I give you an opportunity. I'm just going to reach out to my neighbor. They didn't want to get smart. I'm not getting smart. What are you expecting it for? I'll give you an opportunity to take care of it. You don't want to take care of it. I'm just saying. 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 We got, a, we got another arrest, uh, D'Angelo McIntyre being arrested. So we'll we'll follow that and we'll see. We're walking past, through the uh, encampment now, which is now along the sidewalk. Earlier, earlier, uh, one person was arrested. That was uh, Stephanie uh, Keenan, uh, the artist, Ai Kuan Yin. They pulled up my warrants because I'm, I'm standing up for my rights. I'm standing up for my rights because I have these warrants. I have these warrants because this system is broken. I was trying to get to work. I had to do what I had to do. It's either pay for gas, pay for food, or pay for that high cost of vehicle insurance. We'll take off the jacket. Run the vehicle. So we're gonna take him to the car. Step back. Step you can back. try to catch the bus, but the boss won't give a shit if you're where, late. Where am I supposed to step to? Check your pockets, right? Step back. You want to off here? You can push me into the street. Yes. Step back. You want to take this into the street? Again. D O S T I. What? Oh. I think sharp. No, just flat charging. We're at the. Second arrest at uh, Occupy Honolulu. It's a little after midnight here, I think. At uh, Thomas Square. I didn't know what to do. Go back into a corner. So, I really, I literally got all those tickets for trying to work. I was going to work. Every time I got arrested, every time I got pulled over, I was the officer. on the now. Take him, take him, take him. Traffic warrants. I'm not a criminal. Yeah, I'm a worker. Being arrested for outstanding traffic traffic warrants. Very uh, ironically, we're right across the street from the Honolulu Academy of Arts, which was once a private residence, private mansion. <coughs> And now across the street from uh, Occupy Honolulu and uh, other homeless uh, tents, homeless camps. It's the second arrest tonight. Earlier in uh, November, there were eight arrests. And today, earlier in the day, the boundaries of what constituted constitutes the park and what constitutes the sidewalk were redrawn in uh, in order to be able to Much arrest. Much love, brother. Um, Much love. Love you, D'Angelo. So you have to for the party today. A lot of people here uh, supporting D'Angelo. In fact, I'll I'll move over on this side. Maybe I can. Get a different view. From uh, Occupy Honolulu, they're showing support for uh, Angelo, who's been uh, one of the resident core of uh, Occupy.
For those uh, just tuning in, this is uh, live streaming from Occupy Honolulu at the corner of Ward and Baratania Street, Honolulu, Hawaii. This is uh, the second arrest, Angelo McIntyre, one of the resident corps here. Earlier, uh, Stephanie Keenan was arrested, one of the older residents, uh, also the artist, uh, also known as I Quan Yin, I Q U A N Y I N. You can find her on Twitter and on Instagram. Late though, so might might miss court call. You think so? I know from experience. On the back of the uh, Honolulu Police uh, cruisers, integrity, respect, fairness. We support you, D'Angelo. Yeah, you're we're the best. With you. you, you we're, you're, we're with you, man. I want to. I want to ask him for some comment. One uh, good thing about this encampment and probably most of the others is that there are a lot of cameras, um, what I call self-documentation, including this uh, live stream. There are um, press and also resident Occupy Honolulu uh, who will video all interactions with the police. And I got a call a few hours ago saying that the police were on their way and to help uh, film. So I brought this down and I have been uh, live streaming. I have a uh, few hours of battery. <laughs> Occupy Honolulu is right across the street from the Honolulu Academy of Arts, which is the mansion in the background, formerly a private residence. I, I keep mentioning that because there's so much uh, meaning and irony in it. And no slight to the current Honolulu Academy of Arts, which I'm a member of. We'll see if we can get a word with D'Angelo, see if he wants to say something to anybody. I'm going to ask D'Angelo if he, if I bust in right now the cop's going to give me shit so I'm going to wait a little while. We have more uh, documenters coming by, here's Aaron from, uh, hey. 
I'm live streaming. Oh, I was looking for your stuff, but I couldn't find it. I got 39 viewers right now. We're streaming all over the world. Where? What? What is the address? <laughs> you know, you got to look at my tweets. Go to H Doug. Go to Twitter H Doug and find them. I can't. You know. Or if you're if you're um, watching now, tweet out the address for me, please. Uh, this is live from Occupy Honolulu. Any words for the whole world? We're streaming live. Fight the power. Shit. <laughs> Simple but <laughs> precise. That was Angelo McIntyre is being arrested. Second arrest tonight. The uh, police station is about half a block away. I think we'll all be walking down <laughs> soon. <laughs> Midori here is carrying, you can't see it, she's carrying a, says we are not camping and it's printed on the Bill of Rights. It's an old document that apparently a lot of the authorities are not <laughs> aware of. I have a redacted one. This is at uh, Thomas Square, named after Admiral Thomas, who returned sovereignty to the Hawaiian nation in 1843 or 44, July 31st, after it was uh, briefly seized by a loose cannon British guy with a cooperation of a British gunship. And the uh, Hawaiian nation at the time was a constitutional monarchy and had was recognized internationally. Subsequently, illegally overthrown in 1893 by a bunch of American uh, business people, and then annexed a few years later. A lot of legal question about that. In fact, clearly illegal. What would you? What? Oh, Ikaika, you know about the history of this place and the. Uh, this place right here? Yeah. Of this, of uh, Thomas Square and the, uh, how the, how it, g give us a little, tell us about the old name of Thomas Square, but I know that uh, in the 18, was it 18, but what year was the, um, well I think it was return in 1843 or 44, I forget. We're gonna we're gonna let Ikaika check Google. <laughs> Tell us that your readers can or your viewers can check Google. <laughs> we have uh, more people dropping by. Many of the Occupy Honolulu people uh, live in different places. Some live on the other side of the island and make the trek in. Some live uh, very nearby. I live. Uh, within walking distance as I walk down the hill. You can see the encampment is uh, has moved from there, which it no longer is, out directly on the sidewalk. Now that might strike people as odd, but there is a law here in Hawaii, the law of the splintered paddle, the Kanawai Mamalahoi, which was declared by King Kamehameha, uh, that was also incorporated into the state constitution, and it says that people may lie by the roadside undisturbed. And it has withstood legal challenge, so it allows the now sizable, growing homeless population to live on the side of the road. It's actually kind of a first law, meaning if you're going to make a law, don't, in the first place, don't make a law that harms innocent people. And that's my interpretation. You can see uh, the trucks that the states brought in, 
to cart away property. This is the uh, city and county, I'm sorry, it's not state, city and county of Honolulu Parks Maintenance and Recreation Services. Um, full of stuff. Now, there was a law recently passed that allowed the seizure of personal property that was attended, but it required 24-hour notice, and I'm wondering why that ordinance under Bill 54 had to be passed if they had this sort of martial law almost seeming power of seizing anything they want um, available to them. Uh, here you see this concrete area that looks like a sidewalk, which is where Occupy Honolulu was set up in order to avoid being in inside the park and earlier today the state authorities came and redrew where the park was and as you can see they put down these dots to, to indicate uh, the new park boundary. That was a really uh, something done uh, by convenience. So there, there are a lot of questions about this concerning the planning and timing. Uh, this, this is the sort of thing because there's so much publicity on this corner. It was very well known to people uh, that there's a... people will notice that it's not here and it'll make the news in the morning. And uh, the mayor will have something to say. I'm sure he's prepared a speech. The mayor of Honolulu, um, Mayor Carlisle, uh, was the prosecutor for the city for many years. And that's his background and qualification. And it also explains a lot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk around here. We're looking down Ward Avenue, very trafficked um, street um, in Honolulu. We are in uh, a part of town where there are businesses, but a block, half a block away, start to have uh, residential neighborhoods. This is one of the old oldest uh, residential areas in uh, Honolulu. Well, you know, actually I'm probably wrong about that. What I'm saying is that down the street is downtown and up the street is residence. So I'm, I'm half a block from here in an apartment. Spent a lot of time here and I will continue to spend a lot of time here because I have to repeat Occupy Honolulu has not been closed down. The place where it was, which we're looking at now, which is now mostly an empty space with trucks and police guarding it, have been has been moved in compliance with the law of the splintered paddle to directly by the roadside. Um, that makes it uh, less convenient, but still doable. In fact, in many ways, it might be better because the encampment now stretches out for quite a distance. And if people have a point to make, signs to hold, you could have actually a fairly long statement along the side of the road. I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
see if people, anybody wants to make a statement or say anything. Anybody want to make a statement, live streaming statement? Say anything here? I thought I'd ask first. Aloha. This is Hawaii, even though it doesn't look like it. It's, uh, it's a scene straight out of the mainland. We were just talking about how we, we thought maybe they'd let it slide. I mean, this isn't really in a park. It's kind of on a corner. It's kind of on a sidewalk. But even this teeny little corner, they could not suffer a witch to live, apparently. Apparently not. What do you think, why do you think it, it's been uh, the target of this kind of uh, action? Um, I think if this had just been homeless people camping, I think they probably would have been left alone for a while. So obviously it's because Occupy is political that they got shut down quicker. But unfortunately, they're coming after the homeless people next. Bill 54 is the, the writing on the wall. And what they're doing to Occupy Encampment now, they're going to be doing to homeless encampments everywhere sooner than everybody thinks. Bill 54 is coming really close. Um, it's kind of a, a charade that all this stuff got moved on the side here because all this is going to be in violation of Bill 54. What's going That's on? Right. That's right. Yeah, I this is all just theatrics. And I really wonder how many of these people who are working here today uh, are drawing the connection between what they're doing now is kind of like a practice run for what they'll be doing to homeless encampments soon. Yeah, I don't think they've really digested that. They don't have a way to think about it. I think Occupy was trying to give them a way to think about that. So now this is a practice run. So now they're going to be really good at their jobs so that when they take down homeless encampments, It'll be they're like going to be 50% more efficient. So even though there's a law of the splintered paddle, this is the park road. This is going to be built up before. Yeah. And that's why homeless people are camped out. A lot of homeless people are going to lose their tents because of those Right. Just like these tents are going to be removed. Eventually. So that even there's a law of a splintered paddle, you can lie by the side of the road, but you can't have a tent. You yeah, can't lie in a tent. Yeah, then you got to get back up, apparently. So you, that's an interesting <laughs> catch. That kind of subverts the whole meaning of the law of the splintered paddle. Yeah. Well, that is interesting. I didn't even think of that. You're right, though. Your new Thanks. Aloha. Yeah. Anybody want to say a word where I'm streaming, streaming live? We'll just try and see uh, who's hanging out here. Keep an eye on that truck. Which way is the truck going? That way. It's going straight down. This is the uh, view. Uh, I'm looking down Baratan Street. If you're following this on Google, there goes the truck. There goes the first truck. Now I have no idea if there's going to be an opportunity for people to claim that, or if it just gets disposed of. Want to say anything? I'm. We're stri streaming live oh, worldwide. This is not. not fun. That's all I have to say. I got a new bike. <laughs> Let's be optimistic here, people. <laughs> what What brought you down to oh, Occupy Honolulu to begin with? Oh, in the beginning. Yeah. Fighting for what's right. That's what brought me down here. You know. So if you don't know. What do you, you have any, uh, yeah. in many different creative ways, and I don't think this is going to stop us from being Right now, just feel free to hold on to it, just shove it in the corner. Very somber time, because obviously this is our, was our problem now. Thank you. Yeah. Not going to stop us, not at all. I'm going to bed in my new tent area. 
so it's a little bit even of a twist. Anyone want to say anything uh, streaming live uh, <laughs> worldwide? Uh, Anybody want to say anything? Well, I just think that basically people are going to have to realize this, this isn't going to be fought in the courts and it's not going to be fought by appeals to our governor or our mayor. You know, this is a class war and this is what a class war looks like. Destruction of freedom of speech and destruction of... Uh, place to meet and to communicate and, and so uh, I don't know maybe you read some Marx and uh, <laughs> or your anarchist stuff and uh, Kropotkin, Emma Goldman <laughs> yeah take what you can the best of it and try and formulate a, some sort of course of action but basically it's going to take I think it's going to take the, re the reviving the strike oh I thought you were using going to use the other R word Oh, uh, revolution, yeah. Revolution, yeah, but, you know, basically, the, you have to have a class struggle, you have to have a class war. And so it's only something like 11% of the people are in unions. Yeah. It's not going to come strictly from the unions. It's going to be a class struggle. It's well, not just labor. Struggle. A lot of people would say there's already been a, there's been a class war since there's been class. Yeah, oh, it's a, it's a perpetual class war. And we're losing big time. That's what our our status looks like right now but um, you know uh, it, all hope is not lost I mean just the fact that Occupy exists means I think that people so. are developing some sort of a critique of the capitalist system even if they don't use those words right and so uh, they're gonna have to band together if we don't have some sort of uh, uh, class struggle with the, with the, with the, that can have an impact where we can take it to the points of production and the points of distribution and start shutting down the capitalists and hurting them in the pocketbook, stopping them from profiting and bringing them to their knees so that they have to listen to our demands, well then we're not going to be able to change anything. But if we can do those things, like look at the Port of Oakland shutdown. That was um, awesome. Yeah, so those are the kinds of things. I that never would have happen. imagined that could have happened. Right, and Oakland, uh, like Hawaii, has a, has a long history of class struggle and of union organizing, too. And right now, you know, we're starting to see, or we're not starting to see, but we're seeing again that in many cases the union leadership is not as radical as the union yeah, rank and file. But the union rank and file are just working class people. Um, they're not as beholden to the owners and the government and this sort of labor peace arrangement. Oh, that's actually a point. You know, yeah. So they're more on board with us. And even, even the labor leaders probably have a lot of sympathy for us, but if they make a move, they can be fined millions of dollars put in jail. Right, because right. the strike has been outlawed you know, in the last, uh, since World War II, it's, yeah. it's, it's been eroded. So it's illegal to have a sympathy strike. It's illegal to have an industry-wide strike. It's illegal to have sympathy uh, boycotts right. of, of, you know, if you're in Or an industry. officially sanctioned general strike would be totally right, impossible. Right. Yeah. So uh, the workers are going to have to take back those things that worked before, and they're going to have to start carrying out some radical strike actions occupying factories, taking over the music Thanks. production and fighting back. Great, thank you. Yeah. You guys want to say anything to the to the world? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what what with everybody. <laughs> what brought you down here? Uh, I just wanted to uh, support and help out the Occupy group. That's because, great. Um, Did you spend time here before? Yeah. I mean you're part of the supporting group or part of Occupy. I know they don't I'm really have a member. I <laughs> see. That's about it. I'm just okay. uh, interested in what the ultimate objective is. What What made you come down tonight? Did you hear that? Uh, uh, because uh, I have some friends who are now interested in this area, or they have been occupying this area. I see. So they let you know that something uh, is happening tonight. Yeah. Oh, neat. Where Where did you drive down from? How far away? Okay. Yeah, I'm right up the street too. Not very far. Okay. Thank you. You want to say anything live? Um, this is interesting. <laughs> this is very interesting. Um, what I observed is uh, basically they were given uh, uh, a short notice according to the occupiers. And uh, the, the very interesting thing is that it has happened. It, 
all over the place in New York and on the mainland and here that the eviction process always happens at night. Hmm. So I try to ask the ask the question to the officer, but I didn't get a um, full proper proper answer. So that's uh, that's I wondering like why does that happen only we at the evening? We occupy at five less, o'clock, people. Less <laughs> less visible, maybe, huh? Uh, Right, it could be that, or it could be they don't want to obstruct the traffic, maybe, or I don't know what right. the answer is, but right. uh, that's, that's very interesting. Um, that yeah. is interesting. That is interesting. <laughs> so what do you think will happen now? Of course, they were evicted from that spot, but Occupy is still here along the side of the street, and I get uh, the feedback I'm getting is that people are going to stay here. Uh, I talked to some of the occupiers and uh, I, they told me that um, uh, they, they, they will go back back there at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. when the, and they'll close when at the park. And back to here. That makes sense. Okay, the plan is then that this area, which is inside the newly drawn <laughs> borders of the park, um, and the park is closed from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. So at 5 a.m., everybody moves back. Yeah. Or, you know, uh, also some somebody also told me uh, that um, they might start a new place somewhere else. Or with, start a with new, the new place. Year, with the new year, with the beginning of the new year. So um, I don't know what's going to happen, but yeah. I have heard these few different ideas. Um, so That makes sense. Yeah, but uh, I don't think they will, I don't think this is the end of the uh, movement. Hey, yeah, definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> you don't want to give your name or anything. You, you don't have to. I'm just I'm not asking. Um, it's okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get more people here. We're walking down the uh, Baratani Street sidewalk where Occupy is currently. Uh, Building these we have a little prisons. conversation here. Angela is still here. Wow, you're still here. <laughs> How are you doing, man? I'm doing great. Yeah. Which is scary. So they thought, just as long as they don't freeze out when we get into the prison, they take care of them. I, I, I kind of forget the... Uh, We've also dumped out the university. Going down here, this is now the extent. Here's the old uh, compost barrel that we saw earlier on. It's moved down here. There's some uh, shouting going on. I might head back down and see what's going on here. If you're just tuning in, this is uh, Occupy Honolulu. The uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to call it an eviction, although it looks that way. It's a, it's a changing of form. I think maybe Sun Tzu would approve. So this area where the camp was has uh, moved to right along the street. Okay, I'm being called. And this is H. Doug at Twitter. Um, if you're on Twitter, you might want to retweet the uh, Okay, this is D'Angelo McIntyre, second arrest he's being taken in. Uh, no, some hugs. Showing some love for D'Angelo. <laughs> we'll see you in a little while, man.
Thanks, D'Angelo. Thank, Thank you, you, brother. See you at home. All right. <laughs> He's going off to um <laughs> The police station is about a half a block away. So we could probably beat the car if we took off right now on foot. You know? Welcome home! Across the street, that's the Academy of Arts, once a private, uh, private home. Now across the street from Occupy Honolulu. That's D'Angelo going to get booked, but he'll be okay. A lot of supporters here. I'm uh, live streaming. You anything to say to people? Um, I love New York. Namaste. <laughs> A lot going on. Ridiculous. Orin, you want to say something? Orin's usually behind the camera, and I—I yeah, I use names. I should have—I shouldn't have used your name because I don't ask. Okay, fine. What do you What do you think about what's going on here? It's an uh, extension of what's going on throughout the world in the nation, and it's, it's uh, what capitalism does. You know, it just uh, sucks it dry and you know, throws things away, and you know if you're but, but the thing is, it, like I, I just saw in a video last night uh, in Japan, if, if you're a if you're a, if you're a, 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 a nail sticking out of the, the ground, they always try to punch down. you back in yeah. if you're sticking out. But if you stick out very far, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> they have to uh, shove you back in with tender care, right? <laughs> or or they can't at all. You know. So uh. this this really. Um, uh, helps towards the future uh, of, of what people are trying to do right now. They're actually living the change that they believe in. That's a good point. And not, not waiting. That's and, a good point. Uh, they're actually um, creating something, a foundation for the future. And uh, all of this helps in solidarity throughout the world, not, not only here. And that's the way to think about it and what you're doing now. Is, uh, is, is helping to that end. I wish I could be a little bit more verbose. But no, that's good. <laughs> Thanks. That, I, I understand what you're saying. And if you're oh, yeah. just tuning in, this is Occupy Honolulu, um, which has changed shape because the police have required that... They changed the boundary of where the park is and it put the encampment inside the park and made made it uh, illegal for them to be in there at park closed closed park times which are 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. so the plan now is to um, move back into the area at 5 a.m. <laughs> um, right now people are along the side of the road which is uh, guaranteed refuge under the law of the splintered paddle but with Bill 54, they can seize the property. The law of the splintered paddle, which they are going to take very literally, means you can lie by the side of the road, but not in a tent. But they don't want a test case for this, so they're just going to use it quasi-legal and use it as a stick, a threat. Yes, that's a good that, point. That, that they won't really um, uh, want to add up their legal fees and the. Uh, the warehouses where they have to store the stuff. Right. However, what they just, just just did just now, they, they apparently hauled off the stuff right. without really being careful of inventory. There was no inventorying of it. There's no I, there's no way of knowing what that was. So it's it'll be an interesting this. You know the the ACLU had uh, expressed an interest in Bill 54 and in challenging it. So I wonder. Although this wasn't done under Bill 54, I'm Are wondering you sure? what. Because yes, that abandoned yeah. property law was. No, Bill 54, out. they require a 24 hour notice. Oh, okay. So, so I don't know why. I don't know. It's, it, is a, it is a paradox that a. Uh, I'm just panning over so you can see the bus. Uh, 
if you're not from Honolulu, this is... How would you describe this area? This is a very densely populated part of, down, uh, of Honolulu, and we're probably a half a mile from downtown? Yeah, however, it's the kind of the lungs of the area. There, there's so many trees, it helps, it helps the life of the area come back, and, and it gives a pristine feel to this <laughs> Academy of Arts. <laughs> Which I pointed out was used to be a private residence of... Uh, it, of great. Was that a private residence? It was. Uh, Anna Rice Occupy Cook or something like that. And re one, of, one of those rich people. And very ironically, right across the street now from Occupy Home. I mean, in general, we're not going let's, let's get a bit of this so interview. If they oh. remove us from the sidewalk yeah. here, we will be somewhere else tomorrow. If we have to leave there, we'll be somewhere else the day after that. The, the movement isn't going away. It may just transform kind of they just they just drove off like okay. a minute or two ago. All right, we're gonna walk over there. Is that good enough? Did you yes. okay. find out how much the bell is <laughs> for Stephanie? You're gonna walk down? No, I think we got it. Assuming it's not, we don't. Mean, hey, maybe. Hey, maybe I'll walk. Are you gonna walk down? I'll walk yeah. down with you guys. Yeah, we're gonna walk down. Like, I'm live streaming. Like. Okay, um, Okay, with La Lani said, La Lani said, if, if the Angelo's bill is really high, leave him in there because he'll be out by, he'll be out by tomorrow or Tuesday. Okay, or well, he, we're not going to know on him for a while. Someone's going to have to go back because right. they won't how, even tell you until they're fully that? processed. Uh oh, okay, so we don't know about Stephanie either. Well, we're going to go find out about Stephanie now. The Angelo really probably won't tell us for a little while. Yeah. I, okay, I don't I'm, wa I'm walking down. Know. We're. Uh, yeah, I'm live streaming. Okay, this is. Uh, we're leaving the venue of Occupy Honolulu. And we're we're walking down to the uh, we're going to walk down to the police station, which is uh, which is nearby. I hope we can uh, maintain connectivity, but you'll get to a change of uh, change of scenery. This is the exactly where Occupy was, crossing uh, Ward. Heading uh, down Ward, downhill. Ward's named after the Ward sisters who owned a tremendous amount of property. Uh, of course, the Wards were not in Hawaiian. You know, they were like the guys that came after the the occupiers, and uh, after they had devised a way of uh, owning private property. Well, the wards ended up with quite a bit running from the ocean all the way up to a uh, punch bowl. So we're walking down ward at this point toward the uh, police station. Now across the street is still Thomas Square, which is a park, Thomas Square Park, I think actually is the full name. We're uh, turning right on South Hotel Street, called Hotel Street, although there are no hotels on it anymore. It was downtown, early uh, hotel area, red light area. And uh, we're now right behind Straub Hospital. If you've been following me, you've probably been hearing uh, sirens and whatnot. Part of them are ambulances going to Straub. There's been a recent closure of a couple of hospitals, one out in the Eva area, used to be called St. Francis, and that rather suddenly closed, leaving that entire area without a hospital, and I believe it was Hoi's only organ transplant hospital. So, uh, if you live here and uh, need an organ transplant, well, 
prospects don't look very good for you. If you're just joining us, this is Occupy Honolulu. We've just left the immediate area. We're walking uh, the block or so to the police station um, where we have uh, a couple of people who were arrested earlier. <coughs> the local police is the, for the island is actually one uh, city and county, Honolulu, so the Honolulu Police Department is the major, is the policing agency for the island and we are at the uh, adult release and complaint door. This is where you come out after you let go. This is where you came out, right? Hi, I'm looking to find out how much bail is for somebody. Or the last name. Keenan? K-E-E-N-A-N? K-E-E-N-A-N? Yep. Or K-E-A? We don't have that person here. K-E-A, maybe? K-E-A-N-A-N? K-E-E-N-A-N? Mm-hmm, Keenan? We don't have that person here. K how about K-E-A? K E A N A N K E A S A N. Mm-hmm. No. K E A N O N maybe. Yeah. It's key some kind of form Keenan. of Keenan, yeah. I thought this was K E A N A N. Uh first name is uh Keenan. Keenan. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
uh, so that police could come and force people out. Campers are now along the side of the road in compliance with the law of the splintered paddle and plan to move back into the area that they occupy at 5 a.m. park opening time. They've been using the area um, as a what would be called traditionally a public forum. It was a political um, discussion area. We're now at the uh, corner of hotel and I'm going to run because I don't want to get run over. <laughs> Here's oncoming traffic. Ward is heavily trafficked. Even at this time, it must be after 1 a.m. here. We're minus 10 hours uh, Greenwich Mean Time, Universal Time Coordinated. We have four hours uh, until we can move back into the area. So we are walking upward. Thomas Square is to the right. We're almost at the area of the Occupy Honolulu, which has changed form but is still there. I want to stress that, that even with the police action, even with the trucks that came, even with the change of form, we still can say Occupy Honolulu is still here. This is the area it used to occupy. You can see some rubble here. But people are still sa holding signs. I'd like to see that sign. Show the sign for the whole world. We're streaming live. Hello. Fascism is not democracy. It's like that requires Chinese democracy. Exactly. So we're still here. <laughs> I know, we're still here. <laughs> we're still here. Is, Dan, is that Dan? Huh? Occupy Hilo? This is, uh, we're streaming live to 28 people at the moment. <laughs> it must be like very early in the morning for. Still got computers going here. Still got people here. We are. Not going anywhere. <laughs> Somebody in a tent somewhere on this premises and open all the tents because they have to This is where a pile of bricks there used to be a part of the old style formal encampment that was occupied Honolulu that has now morphed. Um, but we'll probably be coming back into this space um, sometime within uh, the next few hours. It's around 1 a.m. here. Park opens at uh, 5 a.m. I don't think my batteries will last that long. I'm using a 3600 uh, milliamp hour Mofi uh, power station. We'll walk we'll walk down again, we'll see what's see if we did we find out Stacy's name? Police in the park. Tents out here. We are actually have at this late hour uh, more people showing up. People have made phone calls, tweets, Facebook posts, and it takes a while to get here from other parts of the island. 
furthest part of the island at this time of the night is probably over an hour away. Oh, I see uh, someone who is in Italy for a while. <laughs> Hey, Katerina! <laughs> when did you get back? Today. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. I'm streaming live uh, oh, mahalo. the rest mahalo of the mahalo world. And would, it is what would you, where did you come back from? From Europe. From Italy and France. What and just today. Were there occupies in. Uh, in Europe, in Europe, I mean, like called Occupy, like the name, there's not much, but there is people who refer to the movement for their actions and try to do assemblies and stuff. And they have the and same uh, basic uh, outlook as far as uh, 1% just, and 99%? Oh yeah, but. that's picked up a lot. But it's like more of a niche. <laughs> I see. But yeah. So what did you think when you came down here? What brought you here? Was it? Uh, I've heard that uh, I got his message at 9:30, and I just read it like late. Ah. Uh, from Luca saying that the police was going to shut down the camp, so I came as soon as I saw the message, so which was just now. Oh, you, so you just got here? Yeah, I just got here, and. Uh, and it's sad, but it's New Year's Eve. In Italy, on New Year's Eve, you throw in your stuff, the old stuff oh. and start the new. So this is our New Year's Maybe year. that's good. That's a good way to look at it. Yeah, I think it can be one way. We have oh, to look, we have this, the, the state trucks. I guess yeah. these are the same ones coming back for another load. Probably. Yeah. And uh, right in front I of us here. I think it's something, but I don't know. I'm going to write on there. There. Turning around to back into the area, take the rest of the stuff which look like uh, those frames. So. If you just tuned in, this is uh, live streaming from Occupy Honolulu, the corner of Ward and Baratania. It's uh, probably 1.30 a.m. here. We're minus 10 GMT. Um, the Occupy Honolulu is still here. It has moved to the side of the road where it is protected under the or it is protected under the law of the splintered paddle of King Kamehameha who commanded it in the first formal law of the Kingdom of Hawaii that people could lie by the roadside without being harmed, meaning if you're going to make a law, the first principle is not to make a law that harms innocent people. If you can't do that, don't make a law. Uh, soon there will, there actually has been a statute passed where this side of the, of the road refuge will be in jeopardy because they will interpret the law meaning to mean that you can lie by the side of the road without being harmed but not with your stuff so you can't do it in a tent or I don't know how far they can take that uh, maybe sleeping bags will be illegal there's been a uh, very conspicuous rise in homelessness uh, in the last few years since the financial cri uh, crisis of 2008 and the law and the culture that we have now has no provision for it except to put it out of sight or to make it criminal
That was a random number generator. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure those numbers have meaning. Secret Masonic code. <laughs> it's the, which it's unlocks the, the great Kosovo. <laughs> exactly. So, I, I hope you guys wrote it down. They dare not speak his name. Sorry. <laughs> Should not speak his what name. What are you thinking? God. This one never said hostile. Oops. <laughs> So far, no. Um, so far, no pepper spray. I don't see no there. tasers. Just guns and ammo. A lot of a lot of show of weaponry. Um, That's natural. That's, what's standard issue? So nine mil Smith. Smith and I think it's a 9 mil Smith and Wesson. I guess that's really standard now. Oh, something's going on because I see police moving. No, they're just throwing away cinder blocks, so they're heavy. Oh, I, the uh, law enforcement taking? officers just got nervous with us so close and they ran away a little bit. Yeah, your live stream is getting oh, into the live stream. They're watching this. Who else do you think is watching this? Tw I got 24 people up now. Great. I've been I've been doing this for hours. I don't think it's the same 29. I should give away a prize if you're watching from the beginning. <laughs> tweet me at H Doug and uh, you know you should get like some kind of prize. <laughs> See, see, that's from uh, uh, that's from what's her name's house. Oh damn. What's her name? See now, now Bill 54 required them to, 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 to take pictures, to, to, to catalog, catalog it, and wait 24 hours. Wait, what is the deal with this? I, I think they're this going on crap. abandoned property law, which is, which is, which has been made null and void by Bill 54. So I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. They're just asking for lawsuits, but we're not. They're going asking to for lawsuits. Yeah. But in the meantime, people. Take Lose pictures their of stuff. it. Take pictures of it. If they're not documenting, take pictures of it yourself. You know, I think a lot of people did. Okay. But I was I was dedic totally dedicated to live streaming. And these are official use only. City and County of Honolulu, Department of Parks and Recreation Maintenance and Recreation Services. So this, these are city um, vehicles. Uh, on this, uh, the entire island is part of the city and county of Honolulu. So. That's for Kailua, right? Or nope, Kailua is part of the city and county of Honolulu. <laughs> Otherwise, there'd be a Kailua police department. I, I think there's a, what, what is it, in uh, Kahuku or Emma Beach or someplace? No, not Emma. Well, anyway, it's one of the longest cities in the world. Oh, okay. You heard it here first. <laughs> you had to add something. Even though it's uh, 2 a.m., 1.15. What time is it? <laughs> is that like graphic? Here it is. There are a lot of people still here. I'm going to try and unplug so I can get a different angle. Everything might honk out. No, 